Thank well, you. it's time now for Tech 24, and we're asking the question, what happens when cyber criminals get their hands on the cutting edge in AI technology? Well, here with some answers is France 24's Peter O'Brien. Hi, Peter. Hi, Olivia. Now, as you may have guessed, we're talking about the mega clever chatbot, ChatGPT. Peter, can you just recap what it does? It's the most powerful chatbot ever made. It's made by OpenAI, which is a startup co-founded by Elon Musk in San Francisco in 2015. And if you think chatbots are really those things that you interact with customer service with that don't really provide any answers, well, this couldn't be further from that. It can answer pretty much any question you throw at it in any form, really, you ask it to. So it can write poems, it can write scenes from plays, it can write haikus, and it can give in-depth human-sounding answers. It's free for anyone to try, uh, even though OpenAI have just announced a paid-for professional version which is coming up. And as it's a computer, of course, it's pretty much perfect at maths and very good at coding as well. It does get basic facts wrong quite often. It's trained on countless millions of gigabytes of information scraped from the internet, which, as we know, isn't always the most reliable of places. And the best thing I kind of have for you for a live demo uh, would be a look at how some students are already using it to answer their homework for them. Let's say I have this problem. I just copy from my like homework. I'll paste it. And within seconds, it literally shows you how to do it, says how to do the math. And at the end, the answer is, wait, it's coming. The answer is B. B. And then you can go to the exam. We go to B on number five. Question five, B. What the heck? This is insane. What? Well, it does look a bit uh, too good to be true. So it's very good at maths, perhaps more human sounding than human being. But one activity that you've discovered it's being used for is criminal purposes. Yeah, so it's not just naughty students. Several cybersecurity companies like WithSecure and Abnormal have pointed out that because it's very, very good at generating realistic sounding English, well, it might be better at doing that than some people that don't speak English natively, notably some budding cyber criminals who want to create phishing emails or phishing uh, messages. That's, of course, phishing with a PH, mm. meaning the kind of scam email that you get to your uh, inbox, which has a malicious link in it and tricks you into uh, clicking it by appearing to be your bank or something like that. Um, obviously, as it can write code, it can write malware as well. There's a report from the cybersecurity company Checkpoint that links ChatGPT to actual criminal activity. Uh, they looked through underground forums and found them abuzz with chatter of ChatGPT and how it could be used to make a quick buck. Uh, users, for instance, shared tips on how to use the chatbot to build programs from scratch that can encrypt or steal files from a computer. This, for instance, could be used to create a ransomware attack. There's even one example of uh, ChatGPT being used to code a dark web marketplace. This is essentially an automated marketplace that facilitates the trade of illegal or stolen goods, things like bank cards, again, more malware, or perhaps even drugs and ammunition uh, in exchange for cryptocurrency. I, I spoke to uh, Sergei Sh uh, Shaikovich, who's the manager of threat intelligence at Checkpoint, and asked him, well, asked him what else they found. We saw a cyber criminal, very technologically unskilled, that was able to create an encrypting tool using the ChatGPT. Encrypting tool is a tool that can operate like ransomware or just encrypt any files on your machine. And this guy, what is was very interesting, he clearly stated that it's his first ever program he developed and he used ChatGPT to build it uh, as, as he wanted and to scale it. I think from the defense perspective, uh, the defense solutions are almost similar, similar to those we used previously. I think the change will be on the scale on, and the numbers of the attacks. Those will be just much higher because now more and more people will be able to enter the cycle of uh, cybercrime and being a developer, and more and more attacks will be available in the wild. So it's potentially quite a dangerous tool. What does OpenAI have to say about this misuse of its software? Just on Wednesday, OpenAI released a report which focused more on the potential use uh, of 
language models like ChatGPT for disinformation, generating fake fake news, for instance. Uh, they give several ideas of how perhaps the threat could be mitigated, for instance, governments imposing access controls on AI hardware or platforms requiring people to prove their personhood before they post. They cite these, but they don't go as far to um, recommend the implementation of any of these as such. They also didn't respond to me when I asked about criminals using ChatGPT specifically to build malware, as we've seen, and help, help them defraud people. So, as most journalists have been doing when they haven't received answers from OpenAI, I asked the chatbot instead. <laughs> <laughs> it told me OpenAI has no control over how the model is used once it's been released and cannot be held responsible for any illegal or unethical use of the technology. One last thing to note is that if you feel somewhat um, alienated from the concept and don't think you'd, you'd use it in your day-to-day -day -day job, for instance, well, you might not have a choice very soon because Semaphore, the news site, has reported that Microsoft is looking uh, to invest $10 billion into OpenAI with a view to owning uh, 49% of the company uh, pretty soon. That means we could see chat GPT style intelligence sort of suffuse itself throughout the Microsoft suite of products that many of us use every day. Wow, so it is uh, definitely here to stay then. Peter O'Brien, thank you very much with that Tech24 segment.